Okay, folks, go out and go to the other video. There's 15 minutes before we get into this, and when, it, when you start finding out that actual, the biggest uh, three-card money that you've ever seen in your life in the face of man, that the idea that all the scientists have probably always just drawn a circle, a pie, to show you the sun. In all actuality, through a shaded, basically a solar panel, I froze it now at this time, and it, I don't, you can go, you can go ahead and go to Sechi and freeze it yourself anywhere. I didn't we even, I just froze it, okay? I just froze it and it ended up at 1409. Now we're going to go in and we're going to zoom in at 9. Actually, I'm human I just hit the wrong button. I hit the stop button from recording and we're going to get not, go in at 999. And we pretty much know you're just sitting here and you know that this should be the sun. It's the biggest thing. Jupiter's the next biggest thing. The only reason Venus looks big is because it's close to the camera right now. And we're, this Mercury is the closest thing. Venus is the next closest thing to the sun. Then Jupiter's far away and it's huge. And that's more than likely Saturn. And Mars is more than likely this here right here. Okay? And Earth and then Neptune, Pluto, and Jupiter. I mean, Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus are back out here in the back door of Earth somewhere. Okay? Mercury's the closest thing. It's the closest thing that rotates around the sun right there. It's just where the camera's at. It's where the satellite's at. Okay? Now, we zoom in. We'll go ahead and go 999. We'll dive right in. Because no matter what, you're going to be amazed at the idea that for years, they've psyoped us into believing that there's just the sun up there. It's stars, okay? No matter what you want on account, and you're going to see the whole, and we've had a physicist a long time ago that said that. Had a guy that died, and he put it in his obituary in the newspaper, that the idea that a physicist told him that, and he was a famous physicist at NASA, okay? Now, you've got, this is Mer the line of Mercury, pretty much. This is another something that they've got to explain to us, and also... Uh, basically because there's a magnetical there. We know about the Van Allen belts and the magnetical properties. Now as you're seeing all of a sudden already you can almost just, but you're going to be amazed at your eyes. And you see separation here. Basically it's shadows. And we've showed and proved it to you before that even a star now, as we've seen this shot from Mars that I've showed you in a video, that we always knew that planets were the same size as their shadow in space because it's in a vacuum. Well, we've learned that stars are pretty much the same size as their shadow in space. Now remember, uh, the sun or suns, no matter what, and you can do the counting here, you've got this dark area here and this dark area here. Now, someone could, you could disprove that saying that's part, some part of the solar panel that does that cutting or something like that. Pretty much, no. You can This brightness of the sun and even of the uh, Mars's tail here that it pretty much bleeds through, okay? Now, we're going to zoom in some more because we're going to take the magnifier out. Now, when I go to magnifier, it's the pointer won't work at all, so you're going to end up seeing separation. Now, you can count two for damn sure here, but you also have such brightness over here. Is it just the sun? Is it just the shadow of two suns, stars? Well, you're going to be wondering and scratching your head how many actual stars that maybe even the guy that was the physicist that died that said three might even have been wrong on that, okay? Because we're going to keep zooming in here. Now, if I zoom in all the way up, I'm just going to pump it all the way up. It goes up to 1,600, okay? So now I'm at full zoom. Now, what I can do is get rid of this magnifier. I'll go over, and I'll dump the magnifier down. Now we're just going to be looking at the solar panel, okay? We're just at the solar panel. And I'll work my way over, and you'll get a good, that more than likely... Even if they could even lie to us and say that there's one sun, then the sun is right there. And I think my pointer will work pretty good, but it doesn't matter. The brightest spot that you see right now is the sun, and that's pretty much what they shoot at all the time, okay? Because they do give us figures, and we're going to be able to start realizing whether uh, the spots are correct also. Now, remember, this is going through a solar panel. So no matter what, that could be just the sun there, and that's what they always look at. Now... The, di the mass of distances in space, is that a distance between the sun right there? Because that's, no matter what, that's the sun, okay? Because even if we have more than one sun, what they're always looking at is there's another sun pretty close to the sun, or even if it's not, if this is Alaraf or whatever the hell this is at a distance, there's another sun right there. And is it four stars? Is that what it makes? Is that what it takes? to give us sunlight here on Earth. And remember, it's always light curvature. So we're looking at light curvature right here. Okay? 
and I know pixels and also uh, trying to get my my language correct so not making a mistake on what I've already proven about Pictolite and it's it's a uh, high speed uh, actual patented information that gives you uh, can pick out a product at a food processing plant it could pick out and I can even be specific to say carrots okay that it actually can see a mouth a malformation on a product a basically a blemish okay at very very light speed okay and then it'll pop a bad carrot out and you won't get it in your food process it'll go to a lower grade okay so as we're looking at this pixels and pictolite basically there's the sun okay and if it's four stars or not it's still out but no matter what NASA is really going to have to start proving to us that when we're looking at the sun, they've always got the disks that they put over top of it to make sure that they can look at the sun. When we're looking at the sun through a through through a satellite solar panel, and then we see a shadow there of something. Okay, so we're going to go circular all the way around this. Now this is to be another star, more than likely. Okay, now th that physicist said there was three. Now he is either right or wrong one of the deal. He's either completely right and he's dead. So you're not going to know. So that's one of the three right there if the pointer's working correctly or not. And you can see the biggest and brightest. I mean, you can see dark black here, okay? And then as we move into the figure and we're at 1600 and you can see the pixels is there's a star or stars. Now is that the three stars right there and that is the sun? So no matter what, when they pull this disc crap on us all the time, and then basically I will take you to the magnetical map, no matter what, NASA needs to give us a skeletal of this perfect round sun that we're supposed to have, and not this everything, all the artwork that they always do. Because we're looking through a solar panel and we're seeing what we're seeing. So then we still believe you somewhat, just barely little, that the idea then this is a round sun right there. And this is the only thing you're always shooting at. But no matter what, right by the sun and doing a lot of energy flashing between each other is all this stuff. And at least two for damn sure. Okay? And as we follow it out, we still got light. And it sure seems to be something there with the mass distances that we got. And then I'll move over here and you'll see the closest, what we could eliminate down to the, you know, three or four stars. Close to the sun would be something like that. So check that out. And those are stars. It's a star cluster, and that goes off into the Milky Way galaxy. And the, basically, that's our DNA makeup. That's that strand that runs out there that I've proved to you in the other videos, okay? But then also, this is probably the closest star because this is basically there's somewhat of a dark, uh, a dimmer star, either that or the sun over here which is basically there's got to be a sun right here because of the pixels okay or stars and no matter what there's a shadow going off into space of a star we've seen that before and that's basically a star and that should be the sun right there okay and then then also you got basically what we I'm pretty much bound and determined that that's the sun right there that's got to be the sun so then what else do we have up there? And then is, is the sun actually four damn stars? So anyway, somebody's been able to look at the sun with shades on and good enough and safe enough to be able to separate. So no matter what, now we got to find separation somewhere. Okay, now i got to try to get down. So basically we looked at all this, and I'll come down here and show you that, okay, here's more stars down here so you can understand. And then there's the fringe of the, of the picture. And we're blown in at 1600. This is the stuff below the solar panel that bleeds through in the darkness of space that you can just actually see. Okay, on the fringes of the, and then here's the, this is the solar panel. And then I keep going up, and we'll get outside the solar panel, and then there's some more stars. Okay, and then we'll go left along the star fringe. It's colored in the blue color because it's always layers. Okay, and then there's the fringe of the picture, and then we'll go back up 
and now I think I'm on the outside, or no, I'm still on the solar panel, and then are out into the star belt, okay? And then as I'm at the star belt, I'll come back in on the satellite, on the solar panel, and you see those stars that are close by, as you see that. And remember, everything puts off the shadow, the same size of itself. And it's, there's a good example there of that star there, basically putting a shadow off, okay? And there's a star. And there's these stars that are close by, and I already kind of showed you the star cluster there. And then we'll move in on the sun in the solar panel. And actually, I'm screwing up because it's hard because I'm just looking at my screen. So we're back in the solar panel, back out to outside side the or actually, this should be the stars outside the solar panel a little bit or on in the solar panel. And go back to that stars below. And I guess basically I'm going to have to get the tool and see if we can get out of here. So we're in the sun again. Okay, this is the sun area, and I can pretty much pick the sun out again without going away and minus and down. And that's pretty much the sun right there. That's what they pretty much must be showing us all the time. That's the sun. As I go down here and it dissipates. Okay, now I've got a properties window or something to the left that I pulled up. I don't care about that, but you can still see the sun right there. And then whatever the hell stars here are close, or it is still the sun. And then we're going to zoom out and get separation here. So now I'm just going to keep the tape running and see if I can get down and get this going with there. I'll get this, get the minus window up, so you know that I haven't been hiding anything from you. I should be able to click over there and get out. Well, I'm not going to be able to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. I'll go over and stop the recording. And I'll try to get us back out of here. So pretty much, we're, we've been getting Shine OLED for many a year. So pretty much we've been getting sh scammed for many a year. Because no matter what, that's the sun. Or we're, like I was joking around in the other part of the video, that we're in deep shit. So I'll make sure I'm out of there. I can just basically get rid of my magnifier. I'll zoom down. We'll just go to 150 real fast, just bam. And I can even hit while we're recording here so you realize I'm not playing no games with you. That we'll go ahead and hit up uh, 77. So I'll just go 400 real fast. See how you can zoom in? And then I magnified in after I got zoomed in all the way on my screen. It's just software. Basically, we've been getting scammed for who knows how many millions a year, or basically the, 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 t the time of why did modern day NASA lie to us? And should, otherwise, what the hell is there, people? Because basically, I'm spewing, but I'm spewing the truth. Okay? Now I'm going to hit play, and you'll understand that this is coming off a movie. And I'll go play, move up, and you'll see that it's going kind of fast for, through the hours of the day. And then we'll just slow it down a little bit. We'll get this in a little bit slower and give you a little bit of feed on this at a little bit lower speed, a couple hours at a time. So let's go up and see what it looks like when it's going slower speed. And let's pump into that at 900. We'll custom in at 999 real fast. 999, and I just do all this, which mo normally most people would do a, a video and edit out and everything like that. Well, I'm just basically zooming in and showing you. So there you go, folks. There's a chain reaction, fusion reaction on the sun. Okay? There's a chain fuse reaction on the sun. Even if there's just a cannonball up there and they've never been lying to us about this circle of the sun. And they always got to put a lens over it so because it's so damn bright you can't look at it. Okay, we've got a solar panel over top of it, and we're seeing it. Okay? And it pretty much damn well looks like three suns, like he said. And the one to the right, and I can keep point. Well, I'm at 99, the 999, the biggest I can get. It looks like the one to the right of the uh, fusion reaction that the sun does. Because this is pretty much the chain that it's the umbilical cord that it's tied to. Pretty much the one out here, the farthest away, is the deader one. Okay? And the the most lively one's the one in the middle, and that's probably the sun that they're always trying to give us a show at and showing us these hot spots or anything like that. Well, there's magnetical and stuff, and we're getting heat from these other two, okay? So basically, we've got an alignment of suns up there right now, that no matter what, if this has just been the sun all the damn time, well, we got two other stars right and left of the sun right now that are putting off a lot of heat. Either that or that NASA's going to finally have to admit that there's always been three suns, like that physicist said, and they always just put some circle up there to make us always brainwash in the idea that the sun is round. Well, it probably is, but it's way more than one sun. Either that or that's the sun right there. 
and there's two other stars, and that's why we've gotten all this drought.